Hey guys, this is Arkel here, and I apologize right off the bat, I know it has been a little while since I've made a video. I did not mean to do that whatsoever, I feel like I said that in every video, but you have to excuse me, this month has been very, very difficult. Um, for those of you guys who don't follow me on Twitter or on Flickr, then you might not know, but uh, my dad actually passed away at the beginning of this month. It was very unexpected and tragic. Um, and even though I wasn't all that super close with my dad, I don't think, I don't think it ever gets easier losing a parent. Not that I've ever lost one before, but I feel like that's always very difficult. But anyway, this month has been pretty d difficult for me, um, for a lot of reasons. Um, I'm just very busy and have a lot of things to think about and it's just been hard, but I do have a lot of really awesome updates that I want to go ahead and tell you guys. I have quite a lot of Dolly updates actually, which is super, super awesome because I know for a long time I've been like, I'm thinking about this, can't do anything about it. <laughs> so I actually have some legitimate updates, which is really, really cool. Um, again, for those of you guys who do follow me on Flickr, you probably have heard about most of them, some of them, we'll see, but uh, either way, I would just want to make a update video to go ahead and fill you guys in. I do have quite a few other videos of other things that I want to go ahead and show you and talk to you guys about. Um, so those I'll probably mention just briefly and then I'll make other videos explaining those later. Um, as well as I also plan to make more videos explaining the worlds of my characters. Um, I really would like to keep going with that series. It's super, super awesome. Um, it's just been a little difficult to find time and that sort of thing. So yes, anyway, so I have quite a few updates to go ahead and tell you guys. So I do imagine this video will get kind of long. Um, so if you don't want to watch all of it, I understand. <laughs> but I appreciate it and this, all the same if you guys do. Um, but anyway, uh, first and foremost, I have Euclid here in this video, who is my Fairyland Minifee Luca in beautiful white skin. <laughs> I feel like I just had Euclid in a pr like, I feel like I've had Euclid in a lot of videos, actually. Um, and that's kind of intentional, kind of not. Um, <laughs> I'm actually thinking about redoing their face up sometime soon as well. Um, but yes, I want to put Euclid in this video just because you can't really see it all that well. I'll probably make a different video to go ahead and show you guys it better. Um, but Euclid is actually wearing a very fancy outfit today, as well as has a, a cute little book and pen, which I'll explain in a minute. But the fancy outfit is one of the awesome updates that I have. <laughs> this outfit is uh, not for Euclid. They are just borrowing it because I wanted to try it on, uh, see how it fit and I don't feel like taking it off Euclid yet. <laughs> but the doll that it's for, I don't actually have yet, so it's perfectly all right. Um, this is the Moonlit Sky outfit from Little Monica. I have wanted this outfit for so long. <laughs> it feels like forever. Um, it was the like full set outfit that was released with their uh, MSD version of Sophia, and I wanted the outfit ever since I saw it, um, because I felt like it would be absolutely perfect for a certain character of mine. A character of mine that I do not have as a doll in this current current time, um, but I have actually had as a doll before. If you guys who are, have been subscribed for a long time, you might know uh, about my character Calliope, who used to be a Dear Mine Rachel once upon a time, a very, very long time ago. Um, she's a very important character to me, and I have 100% like full intention to reshell her. I've just been caught up with a lot of other things. You know how dolls are like you, like you have like your your list of priorities, and then another doll comes along and just messes that whole thing up. So <laughs> she is definitely top, really close on the top of my priority list, um, right after Etzel and a few others, but. I'll talk about that later, <laughs> but I, I had to get this outfit once I saw that it was actually um, restocked. Little Monica had a really awesome sale, um, like certain percentage off sale recently, um, and 
they had like outfits and shoes and all that kind of stuff on sale and they restocked this outfit and I'm like oh my god it's perfect it was super 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 expensive I don't think I've ever spent that much money on just one outfit for a doll before at least like not all at once um, but it's so worth it it's so 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 adorable and it surprisingly fits on many fees quite well which is great um, because if I haven't mentioned it before, I, I definitely have actually, I made a whole video about it, um, but I plan on getting Calliope when I reshell her. I want, I think I want her to be on a mini fee Moe line body. So I was trying this on Euclid because it's the closest body that I have right now. Um, they are on the A line girl body. Uh, so yeah, so I was trying it on them just to make sure that it fit okay and I think, I think it'll work out right pretty good. There's a few fit issues, but I think it'll work out pretty good, so I'm very happy about that. And Euclid gets a fancy outfit for now, and of course they love everything fashion, so they're just enjoying it to the fullest. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, as far as other sort of clothing-related updates are concerned, sorry, you'll have to excuse me, like I'm getting ready to go to sleep here, but I finally got a moment to myself and the sun was shining and I'm like, I'm making a video! Uh, <laughs> but yes, anyway, as far as other clothing-related items that I have gotten from my dolls recently, um, I actually, again, I'd probably make videos and show you guys these later, or at least post them on Flickr. Um, I actually got two dolly size corsets recently. <laughs> Yay! Uh, they are so, so, so super awesome. I can't pronounce the maker's name, but I will link you to it in the description. Hopefully I remember, or I'll put it in the little side part of my layout, the little piece of paper. Um, <laughs> hopefully I'll remember to put it there. But I'm sure you guys know this person because they make super amazing, awesome corsets, and I've wanted some from them forever. Uh, <laughs> But either I just never had the money at the time, or there just weren't the sort of colors that I wanted. Um, again, I'm not in this video, so I can't really show you, but maybe I'll actually edit in a picture, like, on the side, um, to show you guys what I mean. Um, one of the first ones that I got is actually also intended for Calliope. I've been trying to work on her slowly but surely. Like I said, she's a priority of mine. Um, so I've been getting her little things. She already has a lot of stuff from her previous shell, but some other little things that I really think will, uh, really bring her to life. I feel like I failed so hard on her first, looking back on it anyway, I feel like I failed so hard on her first, um, embodiment in doll form, and so I want her to be everything that I imagine. So I've been trying, slowly but surely, trying to get her some awesome, lovely, pretty things. So one of the corsets I got, the first one, um, is an amazing, like, orange, yellow, and blue underbust corset. It's super, super awesome. I love it. Those are Calliope's colors, is orange and blue, and it's so, so, so amazing. I love it. Um, <laughs> and I think it'll be super, super awesome on her. So that's super great. And the other one that I got, which was not too long afterwards, um, I was lucky enough to happen upon one that is sort of like a purplish, pinkish sort of combination. Um, it's super, super awesome as well. It's also an underbust corset. And that one is actually for Etzel. <laughs> so it'll be super, super cute when I do actually finish them and, and have them all together again. They'll actually have sort of matching corsets, which is super, super adorable. Um, I know it might sound kind of weird. Some people might think the idea of a boy in a corset is really weird, but I think it's like the most adorable thing ever, so don't judge me. Um, <laughs> but my unicorn characters, like I said, they have a very different way of dressing. And uh, in their culture, it's um, proper for uh, like children, quote-unquote, younger members of their species to wear corsets because it trains them in good posture. Um, like I said in my previous video a while back about their culture, um, they're very dignified and they never lower themselves to other people, so having a lot of grace and elegance and proper posture and learning to stand up straight with your head held high is very important to them, so yes, um, <laughs> corsets are very good in that respect. So yes, that's why Etzel also wears one. Um, <laughs> I, they'll look so cute in them. Oh my god, I'm dying. Um, <laughs> too bad I, can't, I couldn't get Shu to wear one. He would never wear anything like that. <laughs> but even still, 
So yes, those are super, super adorable. I love them. They're amazing. Um, I must show you them. Hopefully I'll take remember to take pictures or edit them in or something. <laughs> But anyway, as far as other clothes are concerned, I actually got a few things for Euclid here. Um, <laughs> after seeing Euclid with this amazing, awesome, super, super amazing dress that is not for them, um, I really wanted to get an awesome, fancy outfit for Euclid because I was like, you need it. I want my dolls to dress fancy these days. I'm very much, even though like previously I've had my dolls sort of in modern interpretations of their characters, Pretty much all of my characters are all like in the realm of fantasy. Um, the only exceptions would be uh, Rem and Fire. But all of my other characters, their stories are more in like fantasy settings. Uh, Rem and Fire's story, their story is more modern. Um, my unicorn characters, of course, and my Egyptian characters, they're all, they're all like, you know, fantasy, sort of historic, that sort of thing. And lately, I've really, really just been wanting to fulfill them as canonically accurate and, and I don't know, just really like, you know, bring them to life as best as I can. So I've really been in love with the idea of more canonically accurate outfits or things that are more fancy and intricate um, and not so casual. Although I do love them in casual clothes as well, but I think it's just a sort of manner of growth in the hobby. The longer that you're in the hobby and the more you experiment with things, the more you sort of learn what sort of things you like and don't like, and sometimes you just sort of move on from things and grow, and I think that's perfectly normal. So in the future, I definitely want to try to find my dolls more fancy outfits, but I think I found something that will be super, super awesome for Euclid. I love getting clothes for them because I just love their style, and Euclid, of course, absolutely loves everything to do with fashion. <laughs> Euclid loves that, so any sort of, like, fancy, intricate, like, period outfits like anything they're just they just love clothes um <laughs> all types of clothes as long as they're elegant uh of course um <laughs> so i will show you guys that when it arrives um hopefully it will fit i'm taking a little bit of a gamble on it it's not something that's specifically made for mini fees um so it's kind of a little bit of a gamble, but I think hopefully it will fit properly because if it does, I think it will be super, super awesome. So I'm crossing my fingers. I will definitely let you guys know when that arrives and tell you all about it. I also got a new pair of shoes for Euclid as well. They are super, super cool. Hopefully, again, I'll link a picture. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. We'll see. But they are super, super awesome. They are like... How do I explain it? They're like high-heeled shoes that have a sort of purple sequin pattern and then the heel part is actually clear which is super super cool i love having euclid and sort of like higher heeled shoes um but the cool thing about these ones is that uh as you guys may or may not know <laughs> euclid sort of elements or um power if you will uh what makes them live <laughs> Um, their essence of life, if you will, is that of water and ice. So I thought the like clear bases of the shoe kind of represented that sort of like clear water aspect. And the sparkly sequins, let's just say Euclid has a little bit of a secret. How do I put it? Hmm. A secret that has to do with the water. Something magical that you would find in the water. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> So I think they'll be perfect to represent that. I'm very excited about those. Hopefully, actually I know they will fit because um, I have gotten shoes of this size for Euclid before. They are, I think they're for, what's, what's that doll's name? I think it's maybe like, I think it's American model or toner. It's one of those type of dolls. Anyway, they have very similar foot measurements to mini fees, and I have actually gotten Euclid shoes of that size before, and they fit amazingly. They're super proportionate, and they're super awesome. They're the best mini fee female type shoes ever. They're awesome. Um, <laughs> so hopefully they will fit very well, and they'll look awesome, and I'm super excited. I hope they'll actually look very nice with their new outfit as well. We shall see. I'm crossing my fingers, and then... Can you hear me tapping my fingers together all maniacally? Mwah! Um, <laughs> so yes. Um, 
Oh, one other little update as far as clothing is concerned. This one was a little bit of a spur of the moment kind of thing, but it's something that I've kind of wanted to do for a while. Um, you guys probably, of course, know my newly acquired real fee uh, May in mint, Patina Morrow, whose faceplate, proper faceplate, still has not arrived yet. I have to contact DDE again and make sure they haven't forgot because it's been like a month and I'm like, please, I want, I want her face. Um, <laughs> but yes, uh, Patina Morrow, my real fee. Uh, I, she of course is a statue, so I never really intended, like canonically, I never really saw her wearing a lot of clothing because she's just a sort of statue, um, literally. <laughs> Uh, but I thought it'd be really cool to just sort of have her at least, have her in at least one outfit. Just in case I wanted to take pictures of her or something, something like a little different, I guess. I don't know how quite to explain it yet. Maybe I'll make a video explaining it. Um, but just something like a bit more like human, if you will. Because of course she is a statue, but to the person that made her, she meant so much more and of course she was made in memorial of someone something some would you animal someone something anyway <laughs> of someone that really did uh exist so i thought it'd be cool to sort of give her a lovely little dress and have her a bit more human if you will but a bit more alive um if I want to take some pictures of that and whatnot. So I ordered her a super awesome little dress. It's a Blythe size dress. Um, real fees do actually fit rather well into Blythe size clothing. Uh, some things are hit and miss, but for the most part, they seem to be doing all right. So hopefully it will fit her very well. Um, it's a minty colored dress. So hopefully it'll be exactly the same color or very close to the same color as, um, as their resin tone. Uh, I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, it'll look very nice with them. And also, I think it should be floor length as well, which is absolutely perfect. That's another reason why I wanted to get this dress in particular, um, because of course my unicorn characters typically wear uh, long skirts and like dresses and um, like capes and whatever that will cover their legs and will touch the ground. Um, so I thought that'd be really, really awesome for Patina Morrow. Of course, because she's made in an image that reflects um, uh, Petra and Euclid's uh, species. Petra is the one who uh, creates her. And she creates her in an image that is, like, in an honor in their species. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. I don't know when that will arrive, but I will show you guys that too, of course. And hopefully her faceplate will arrive! Woo! I mean, as much as Pano is adorable, I just... I really want my May. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's it as far as clothing is concerned. This video is already quite long, but I do have a few more little updates that I want to go ahead and say um, really quickly. Some of these things, I will, like I said, I will actually make videos on, so I'm not going to talk about them for too long. But I actually did get some new eyes in. Uh, I got Oscar doll eyes, those lovely sparkly gemstone eyes. I got two pairs of them. Which kills me because they're so expensive. Um, <laughs> but I went ahead and did it because I was like, oh, just do it. Come on. You know you want to. You have to. Um, <laughs> so I got a pair of eyes for Patina Morrow. Uh, again, my real female. And they are amazing. They're perfect. They fit in the Peno faceplate right now perfectly well. They look awesome. I will show you guys those later. So happy about those ones. The other ones. <laughs> The other pair of eyes, oh, I'm dying, I'm dying. <laughs> the other pair of eyes were, I had got for River, who is my Sumtron in bronze. And any of you guys who have known me for more than a day, <laughs> you guys know that despite the, the fact that I freaking love River so much, I cannot find eyes for him. It's impossible. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm laughing, but I'm crying on the inside. It's just been the struggle. The struggle is real. Um, <laughs> these eyes, I thought they would be so perfect for him. The color is just, the color is right, and I love the shine. I tried in a 
uh, rumors pair of Oscar doll eyes in him, in, in him, and I love them. But these ones, I don't think I like them, and it makes me so sad. <laughs> I'm like, why? I was so close. I thought I'd finally. <sighs> I'm defeated. But anyway, I will show you guys that later. I'm just sad. I'm happy about Bettina Morrow's eyes, but I'm conflicted about Rivers. <sighs> I cry every time. But speaking of River, um, I also did a few more things for him as well. Uh, I actually made him a wig, <laughs> which is super awesome. I made him an alpaca wig because I was making one for a commission, um, and I had some extra alpaca fiber, so I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and make River a wig because I've been thinking about doing it and it's in black and it's perfect so I went ahead and did it and I will go ahead and show you guys that of course in another video or if I have a picture of it I'll slide it in on the side but I will talk about that later as well. Um, I also painted his cat ears. I repainted them anyway. They were already painted but I repainted them as well as Rom, my Sum Apini Argyle in bronze. River's Child, of course. I repainted, or painted his ears for the first time. I painted both of their ears, and I'm, I believe I, at this point I have already posted a picture of Rom's ears, at least. Um, and I'm a little bit conflicted about their painting, um, but I will go ahead and show you guys those more in detail and post pictures of those later. Um, I'm still, I'm not quite sure if I like them yet, but we shall see. <laughs> we shall see how that develops, but progress nonetheless. Um, is that it? Is that it? Mm, is that it? Oh, just a few other tiny little updates. Um, as you can see in Euclid's hand, I actually have a little book and pencil in their hand. Um, I actually made some tiny itty bitty little books and pencils uh, for Euclid and Shu, but I will make another video showing you guys that. Um, they're super, super adorable. I need more practice, but they're very, very cute. And I'm so happy that I was finally able to do it. I've been wanting to forever. <laughs> if I haven't mentioned it before, Euclid is an extreme bookworm. <laughs> um, and the only other update that I have, which is a sad one, I cry every time. I was not, unfortunately, able to order the little Cheshire cat from Soom. I want him so bad. I was so sad that I missed him. It sucks because like I wasn't able, I didn't have the funds to order him when he was available, but like two days after I was actually, I had enough funds to do it. I'm like, wow. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, I've been, I was like I, I have other things to, that I need to get for other dolls, so I just was like, I will find him on the secondhand marketplace someday in the future because I want him so bad. Uh, but for now, I will focus on my other adult and get things that they need, like eyes and wigs and all that good stuff that I've gotten. So it's quite unfortunate, but I will definitely, definitely, definitely be having to search on the secondhand marketplace in the future. When I get the funds together, I will let you guys know, so I can kindly request you guys to help me find him, because I need <laughs> him so bad. Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> yes, when the time comes, I will definitely request some help if you guys ever do see one on the marketplace, because he will be coming home someday, one way or another. I must have my little purple kitty. He's so perfect. Rem just looks so sad. I mean, he looks sad always, but just, he needs to look sad. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, okay, I'm, I'm sleepy. Um, I'm being silly. So thank you guys so, so very much for watching. Quite a lot of updates, lots of awesome things. Um, it's been a difficult month for me, but I'm really glad that I have my dolls with me, and I'm glad that I have friends here with me too, um, that can, I can talk about things that I enjoy, like dolls and art and stuff. Um, those sort of things always make me feel so much better when I feel sad. Uh, especially my dolls, like, I don't know, there's something just about them that's just so comforting. And whenever I, I feel sad and, and bad things happen, I just... Just look at them and just dress them and repaint them and just 
be inspired by them and I just feel so much better so and even just looking at pictures of other people's dolls too that's always wonderful as well um <laughs> But yes, thank you guys so, so, so very much for watching. Sorry for taking 25 minutes of your day. Um, but yes, lots of good updates for the most part this time. So, yes. Um, I have, like I said, I will make more videos showing you guys some of the stuff that I mentioned. So, yes. And I have more videos to make too as well. More character videos and such. So, yes. I'm out.